What's up everyone, welcome back to Free to Be, and today we're gonna to be going over the final five items on the list of top 20 things a financial advisor wishes they could tell the younger version of themselves. So, let's get started. All right, now as always, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and turn on those notifications. We cover financial literacy here on this channel, so you're not gonna wanna miss any of the content. And if you're not new to the channel, thanks for coming back. Okay, so a few weeks ago, I talked to you guys about an article that I had recently read where a financial advisor who has been a financial advisor for 25 plus years talks about 20 pieces of advice he wishes he could go back and tell the younger version of himself. And up to this point, I've gone over about 15 of them in no particular order, these aren't ranked. But today we're gonna go over the final five pieces of advice that he wishes he could give the younger version of himself. And today we're gonna go over the final five pieces of advice that this advisor wishes he could give the younger version of himself. Okay, so the next item on this list is to forget about your age. Don't let your age get in the way of you accomplishing what you need to get done. You can still make a difference regardless of your age because it's true, you're never too young to dream and you're never too old for your dreams to come true and that's the same with your skills. If you keep thinking that your age is something that is gonna be blocking you like an obstacle in your way, you're just never really gonna be able to accomplish what you wanna accomplish. You might have great ideas to contribute to your organization, uh, you know, great advice to give to your friends. Don't let your age deter you from doing any of that. Don't let it get in the way and I completely agree with this notion. You know, sometimes the better, the fresher thoughts come from someone who's younger, who's new, a, set, a fresh set of eyes really on a problem, whether it's within your company uh, or within your personal life. You know, you could never not take someone's advice based on their age. So, you know, if you have some good input to give out and good advice to give, don't be afraid to give it. So basically don't limit yourself, right? Never tell yourself that maybe when I'm older I'll be able to chime in here and give some advice. Don't put those kind of restrictions on yourself because you might actually have some valuable information to give now. And the next thing here guys is to focus on your strengths. We all have strengths. We can identify what those are. If you have something that you're not particularly good at, while I admire that you should you know, focus maybe on trying to get better at that thing. If you are particularly good at one thing, you should focus your energy on that and become great at that one thing. And I don't agree that you should just abandon, you know, uh, any kind of weaknesses that you have. The, the article kind of goes into, you know, forget about your weaknesses and just pursue something that you're good at. Um, I do think you can always be working on yourself. So working on a weakness is big to me. So I don't completely agree with that but do focus on your strengths. If you're good at something, become the best at that thing, and that'll really propel you to the next level. And the next thing to do is to identify what drives you as a person. Kind of figure out what your goals are and what makes you hungry to chase them, and then work on that. Because look, ultimately, everybody has a driving force behind you know, their motivations and their energy and their effort. So identify what it is for you. What is your fuel? What is making you wanna do what you wanna do? And as soon as you identify that, it'll kind of open you up to pursuing those dreams even harder because now you know what you need as energy. Now you know what you need as fuel to keep going forward. Now the next thing here is to take responsibility for everything. And this has got to be one of the top three for me. I completely agree with this. You cannot blame external factors for things that you are in control of. As I talked about earlier, we are all in charge of us. We are all in control of our own selves and our destiny. So don't let something else get in your way and blame them on anything else. Take responsibility. If you mess up at work, take responsibility. Don't blame others for your own actions. It just doesn't look good in a professional setting and ultimately it'll leave you feeling unfulfilled. If you want to get better at something, understand that it is in your you know, control. If you want to get a better job, that's up to you. If you want to be in a better position, that's up to you. Make it happen. Take responsibility for everything you're doing and you'll be better for it. And the last thing this guy outlines in his article is to buy, invest, and build assets. Remember, while you're young, you have an opportunity to build some great strong foundation in terms of financial health and well-being for yourself. So, you know, as, as soon as you can, 
buy investments, make sure you are saving money and make sure you're building up assets that'll put you in a position where you're a little bit more comfortable down the road as you get older. Like I said, there's no real way to get away from money in the world we live in. So just put yourself in a position where you can be very comfortable with it, that it doesn't have to be the first thing you think about when you get up in the day or the second or third, but it is there in your you know, peripheral, it is on the back burner, but it's just not something that consumes your life because that's really how you get to that next level of financial independence, financial freedom. So you're gonna wanna build your assets and make sure you're saving and buying investments as soon as you can. That's very important and I do agree with that. And ultimately guys, this is all about having fun. We all only get one life to live. So remember, the most important thing here is to focus on your mental health and physical health. And you could do that by being creative. You can do that by incorporating the different tips we talked about here. Money should not be consuming our lives. Yes, it's a very real part of our lives because we need you know, food, shelter, clothing. Those are all things that we can't do without money. But don't let it ever dictate what you do with your life. Don't ever let it stand in the way of you achieving your dreams. Um, you know, Just do the best you can do and that's it. Take responsibility, take ownership for your own life and you'll be fine. Just don't let it consume you. It's really not that important. I know we see a lot of things in our world that make it seem that way, but it's, it's just not the case. Okay guys, well that's it. That's all I have from this article. This was just 20 pieces of advice that an older financial advisor wishes he could go back and tell the younger version of himself. If you enjoy this content and series of videos, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and we'll see you next time.